Hello, my name is Victoria Delgado. I work at the Leiden University Medical Center, the Netherlands, and my main uh, area of interest is uh, multimodality imaging. I'm also very interested in guiding and planning uh, structural interventions, transcatheter structural interventions, and I work closely with uh, many imagers experts in order to provide the best imaging possible for the uh, interventional procedure. And I would like uh, to share with you uh, new advances in uh, fusion imaging, particularly fusion echocardiography and computer tomography. Multimodality imaging is the use of several imaging modalities with the patient at the center trying to understand and to uh, diagnose accurately the disease. That allows us to select the best therapy possible and to improve the outcomes. Now, when we, we use uh, several imaging modalities and we fuse them in order to get different information in, within one imaging modality, that is what is uh, the concept of fusion imaging, and that is mainly applicable for um, transcatheter interventions. Fusion imaging uh, we use right now for uh, guidance of transcatheter interventions. The surgeon is used to see directly the structure that is going to treat or that is going to repair, and using mainly echocardiography at baseline to understand the severity of the lesion and to understand the anatomy will uh, match that information on, with what he or she sees during the intervention and will treat the, the lesion. With fusion imaging techniques, what we use is the echocardiography and the fluoroscopy and the CT to fuse them together in order to provide the guidance for the interventionalist. So General Electric has developed right now a tool that fuses three-dimensional transesophageal echocardiography with CT. So the structures that are not seen with three-dimensional echocardiography can be seen together with the CT that we use to plan the intervention. So the fusion of uh, three-dimensional transesophageal echocardiography and computed tomography to guide transcatheter interventions uh, that will give the reference for the interventionalist to understand what is seen on the fluoroscopy as well. So for a transcatheter tricuspid valve intervention, anuloplasty, for example, the interventionalist introduces a wire in the right coronary artery to uh, make a reference there for uh, the intervention, which is the structure close to the tricuspid annulus. And if we use the CT data with the procedural planning already in place, as you can see in this figure, we can uh, superimpose that image to echocardiography and manipulate the uh, transesophageal planes or the CT planes in a way that we see constantly where the transcatheter or where the um, device is and uh, which is the reference, the landmark reference on CT and echocardiography. So if we change to the next slide, you will see that you can also visualize that image on CT with a three-dimensional um, full volume acquisition on echocardiography. So we have the three multiplanar reformation planes and we can uh, accurately guide, guide where the catheter or where the device is. The benefits of fusion imaging uh, is mainly to improve the communication between imagers and interventionalists. Uh, imagers are used to work in the echo lab or uh, at the radiology department, and we are used to see the images in a way, but then when we need to transmit that information, the interventionalist is more used to the cath lab and the fluoroscopy. So that gives us a much better understanding of the procedural planning and the guidance of the procedure, and potentially we can reduce the time of the procedure and improve the safety.